They don't want to play anymore. All right, they don't want to play. All right, they don't want to play anymore. Two. Oh, they don't want to play anymore. Where'd they go? This deck is not okay. Folks, we are preparing for the Timeless Metagame Challenge this weekend, and what better way to start with the best deck, uh, and that is Show and Tell. So, I, you know, I will say I was kind of down on Timeless ever since this card got spoiled slash printed into the format, um, but I haven't personally tried the deck myself, so I figured I would give it a shot. Um, maybe we can improve on some of these things. I'll be honest with you. I kind of just stole a list from Untapped. Shout out to Untapped, by the way. So I did steal kind of just like the, the best performing list that I saw on Untapped. Um, but we can try to make some changes along the way. But let's just go a really, really quick overview of what this deck is trying to do. Show and Tell allows each player to put a big thing into play. You're trying to put Omniscience into play. Ideally, you can also just put Attracts into play. But the idea of putting Omniscience into play is once you have it, you can basically just cast anything for free. So you can cast Dig Through Time, Demonic Tutor, Brainstorm, Assemble the Team, eventually get to your copy of Mastermind's Acquisition. Mastermind's Acquisition searches your sideboard for a card. You're going to go get Approach of the Second Sun. You're going to cast it for free, and then you're going to find it again, and then cast it again for free. And uh, if you cast Approach twice, you win the game. So pretty simple stuff there, nothing... Uh, you know, that is that is the win condition of the deck. Again, you know, there's some interesting things here where people have, the, like, one of the cards, one of the more played cards in the format is Leyline Binding. So if you, you know, are worried that your opponent has show and, or Leyline Binding when you cast Show and Tell, you might just want to put a Trax into play. So keep that in mind as well. Um, but the other thing about Leyline Binding is you also have this card called Born Upon a Wind, which is two mana instant, important part there, that says you can cast spells as though they had flash this turn, and it draws a card. So, for example, if you show and tell in Omniscience, and your opponent puts in Ley or Leyline Binding, you can respond, cast Born Upon a Wind for free, because the show and tell is, the Omniscience is already in play, and then all of your sorceries are flash now, or have flash. So then you can just kill your opponent in response, because it gives your approach, it allows you to cast your approach at instant speed, so... Uh, that's the idea. We even have four main deck Veil of Summers, which I thought was a little aggressive, but then I kind of thought about the format, and there's a lot of thought teases, a lot of counter spells, so it does kind of make sense. We'll talk about the sideboard. It's got some Bowmasters, got some Ley Lines, got some Fatal Pushes, a couple of Grows and Grips, and then the aforementioned Approach. There's a Ceres Emissary down here. I don't exactly know when we're supposed to masterminds for this, but I'm sure we'll figure it out uh, when we play the games. All right, I'm trying to think of what the best placement for face cam and chat is for the games. I think it's like something like this, maybe. We're going to see how this works. Uh, that's a lot of brainstorms. That is mucho brainstorms. I mean, good enough. Kind of awkward because I have to use my fetch land to cast assemble. I guess I'm going to lead. No, I can't lead on sanctuary if I want to go assemble on two. Let's lead on breeding pool. And then I want to assemble into Brainstorm. Although that line is a bit sus if they have Orcish Bowmasters on two. I'm not getting stifled, am I? There's no way. Please don't tell me I'm getting stifled. Uh-oh. Oh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's like, please, for the love of all that is holy, do not stifle me. I cannot, I cannot handle being stifled right now. At least take me out to dinner first, you know. I am a Cowboys fan. Don't ask me why, but I am a Cowboys fan. All right, what are we looking for here? What would we like? That's a lot of dig through times. Would we like a show and tell? I think I think show me. It's the most powerful card in my deck. Shababa, thank you for the gift that's up. Appreciate that. Delighted halfling. Excited for anything from the new set for Timeless? Absolutely. All of the uh, the, the fancy set stuff is nice. I'm going to Thoughtseize first. But like Surgical Extraction, Mind Break Trap, Reanimate, Mana Drain, Archive Trap. There's so many bangers. That The bonus sheet for this for, for Timeless this go-around is insane. It's uh, it's absurd. Yeah. There's just so, so many insane cards. Uh, I guess I want my fourth mana over the third brainstorm. I'm going to keep two show and tells, though. 
Uh, I'm going to fetch now. I don't know if they're a stifle deck, but just to make sure. I am going to... This is going to be the rare end of turn brainstorm, I think. I saw Crokey's talking about Meta Drain on, uh, when he was going over the stream today. He seemed to not be that big of a fan of the card. But to be fair, he's never cast it before, so, you know. Do I have a pet rock behind me? Yeah. This is, I got this specifically for the stream. See, I can, like, poke his little eyeball. And see what happens when I poke his eyeball? He gets, like, he gets upset. All right, end of turn brainstorm. It's Dwayne. He doesn't like it when I poke his eyeball. That is not in Atraxa. Maybe I shouldn't have been a turn brainstorm, Tom. Perhaps I should not have been a turn brainstormed. Assemble me? Bruh. Where's my big thing to put into play? Are we just like, we can't even assemble into assemble. Because <laughs> we have a stupid island. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll tank brainstorm. I don't know. Go. I don't know what the plan is here. I guess brainstorm shuffle, get a surveil land. Okay, yeah. I feel like mistakes were made this game. Maybe I shouldn't have cast the uh, the first assemble when I did. Is it going to jack up prices or even up because people will likely open more of the set? You mean the, like, the bonus sheet cards? I have no idea. I would just like to mention that I am not a financial expert. I know I know nothing about finances. I guess I'll brainstorm in response. Hmm. Well, uh, do I have a second breeding pool? I sure hope I do. Uh, oh, it's in my hand. Oh, but I can put it on top and then fetch it. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I can put the breeding pool on top and then fetch it. Okay. So what is the other card that I want to shuffle away? Born, probably. Yeah, born. So put these two back. Crack this for breeding pool. I guess I'm going pretty low, huh? See if they fight over this. They might they might fight over this. They choose not to. Okay. Does that mean they don't have a counter spell for my show and tell? I'm gonna cast it. Even if they have a counter spell for this, we can just go again next turn. We can also Lorien for a surveil land. Uh sure. Brainstorm. Oh, they have nothing. Okay. Well, I'll put this into play. Orcish Bowmasters uh, resolves. I mastermind? Outside the game, please. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So we have to dig in response. So we need to find Born Upon the Wind, right? I have another show and tell. I could take Dig Omniscience, and then if I find Born, I can show and tell the other Omniscience into play. The other, I mean, I'm obviously taking Dig. Yeah, I think it's Dig Omniscience here, and then we can find Born off of this. Okay, perfect. Uh, I guess the other one doesn't matter that much. I haven't played a land yet. I could take Sanctuary. I'm dead to Recruiter. What's Recruiter? What do you mean? No, we're fine. Oh, Imodane's Recruiter. I'm killing my opponent this turn. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going to kill them this turn. You dig Veil. Vale. I guess they could put... Yeah, well, they only have one card, right? So it's like, what could they even have? Okay. They don't want to play anymore. They do not want to participate. Yeah, imagine countering Show and Tell with Mana Drain and then hard cast the track. So, All right, what are we sideboarding in? So, what are they? Like, Soul Tie stuff? I mean, Leyland's probably good, but I don't know what I cut. Yeah, Dwayne, Dwayne is easily the best pet that I have. We love Dwayne. Shout out to Dwayne, by the way. Would you, would you ever cut Brainstorm against Bowmasters? It's kind of stupid, right? I could cut Assemble. What if I just didn't sideboard? How does the mirror play out? I don't even want to think about the mirror match. I assume that neither player ever does anything. Bowmaster seems pretty huge in the mirror, because nobody ever wants to cast Show and Tell. I mean, Keep, I think. This is the weirdest hand I've ever seen in my life. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Can't go that poorly, can it? Death Right Shaman. Thoughtseize me. Spell Pierce, Natural Order, Thoughtseize, Brainstorm. I guess I'll take your Natural Order? You don't have blue mana. 
And I don't ever have to play a fetch land, which is nice. <laughs> so if they don't draw a fetch land, they just can't have blue mana. If you have Crows and Grip, you cast show and tell and win, basically. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Crows and Grip does seem important in the mirror match. I was going to say Born Upon a Win is also important. They took Veil. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'll take Oko. It's the scariest card if they find a blue source. <clears throat> Surgical Extraction coming to Arena. I think it's big. It's really big for Timeless. Huge. Absolutely huge. Um, Cycle for Breeding Pool. Demonic for Show and Tell. I think I like that. I want to get green mana. I'm, I'm out, my life total is getting pretty low, but... There's so many bangers in this set for Timeless. Surgical, Mind Break, Archive Trap, Reanimate, Mana Drain. It's just like, there's so many, so many insane cards. So now we can go Masterminds. Hello. I will say, they said hello to me, so I'll say hello to them. Surely that was, uh, that was in, that was, that was not a troll hello, right? Oh tapped never mind uh go <laughs> never mind i'm gonna do this on the upkeep orcish bow mestel auto pay one two three four five resolve uh that is not an omniscience but we can take not a fetch land and assemble. And then we can go uh, try to assemble for omniscience, land, show and tell, omniscience, masterminds for Atraxa. Okay, they've located blue mana. That's a little sketch. I guess just drawing the omniscience is good. Because if we rip omniscience, then we can just go show and tell, pay for spell beers. <clears throat> What are they getting here that, like, stops me? Because now they're tapped out of Spell Pierce, right? Is there a green creature that prevents me from comboing? Okay, well, now they're just dead, right? <laughs> Why would they do this? Couldn't they have just held up Spell Pierce? I don't get it. Bruh. All right, well, I guess we could miss on Assemble, right? We could just not hit the Omniscience. Never mind. Oh, they can hold up Spell Pierce this way, but I can Thoughts use them, right? So it's fine. Wait, do they have two Pierces? Oh, I didn't realize they had two Pierces. Well, now I'm in trouble. See, they were different arts, so I didn't realize they had two of them. Rewarded for playing alt for playing different arts. Now we're not dead. We have to hope that they, for some reason, Spell Pierce this, even though they're not going to. I mean, I guess we can Brainstorm and just find another payoff, right? Oh, okay. Well, that works. So we put these two back. <gasps> no, the Veil kills us. Right, the Veil kills us because we're going to go to one off the Brainstorm. So we have to go put these two back, assemble Masterminds. Yeah, we have to put these two back. Veil gives you Hexproof. Oh, because once I draw a card and the Veil resolves, they can't target me anymore. Okay, well, it's the same thing, right? It's kind of the same thing. If they let this resolve, we can just find the Traxa. It, it ends up basically being the same thing, right? I think. If they're going to counter this, then I'm going to get a Traxa and they're going to die. I guess in theory I could miss off the Atraxa. Uh, yeah, we have to search library, right? Because, hold on, let's look at our sideboard. Yeah, approach doesn't do anything because we don't have a way to get it back. So, library. And then we can either get dig or Atraxa. I would imagine Atraxa is better than dig. Atraxa is basically a dig, but better. E, 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 thank you for the 40 month resub. Welcome back. Yeah, Atraxa, dig Atraxa digs deeper, too. Okay, sorcery. So here's my issue. 
Uh, my issue is we've already played our land, so we can't get back the masterminds. So I actually think we can't win this turn. Right? Yeah, I actually think we can't win this turn. Because I, I don't have access to this masterminds. Yeah, I'm also at one, so I can't fetch. I mean, I could just natty find the other sanctuary, right? So I'm dead then? How am I dead? Oh, the bowmasters? Well, I can dig for a veil, right? Instant sorcery... Oh, whoops. Wrong one. I was thinking that was uh, a Traxa, not Dig. Uh, dig and Sanctuary. If only I could somehow put another land into play. Okay, we've located Vale, which is good. We could take another Atraxa. <gasps> Show and tell in the Sanctuary? Whoa. But they put in Bowmasters. Oh, but then I can Veil. So I Veil first. Yeah, we Veil first. Because if I show and tell first, they can just put the uh, they can just put the um, the bowmaster into play. But I guess I can respond to the bowmaster and just cast the veil. All right, mastermind's back on top. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, assemble masterminds, dude. Show and tell to put sanctuary into play is wild. Just absolutely wild. <laughs> Never thought I would see that. Oh my god. Whew. Whew. Show and tell in my Mystic Sanctuary for game is something else. It's truly something else. Never thought of that. Playing Yukio now? We always have been, honestly. I mean, look, if you've if you've been playing Magic since the release of Modern Horizons 2, you will know that Magic is just a free spell game now. Like Magic is just Yu-Gi-Oh, whether you want to believe it or not. <laughs> Chat advantage do Moses 5 gifted. Maybe. Is that like, is that the paid actor kind of thing? Uh, this hand does not look very good. Big Monkey says, I've played since MH2 so I could pick up Yu-Gi-Oh pretty quickly. I mean, I play Edison. Edison's fun. Ooh, I keep this. This looks like a, a reasonable hand of magic cards. I would say so myself. Right, yeah. I, I didn't even know these decks had main deck Bale of Summer. And when I figured that out, I was like, oh, yeah, that's, um, you know, kind of cringe. Main deck Veil of Summer is messed up. You don't know what Edison is? It's like an old school Yu-Gi-Oh format. It's 2010 Yu-Gi-Oh, basically. So if you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day. <clears throat> Elegant Parlor. Is this creativity? Appears to be some sort of creativity deck. Pre-Chief Keef. I don't know what that means. Jinzo is my father. People play, people unironically play Jinzo in an Edison. Trying to build something similar to Blue Black Prophet and Pioneer. Remember you playing something similar, but with Grixis colors. When we start working on Pioneer for the RSQ season, Volgo, I will end up uh, posting some of those. As of right now, nothing currently, but at, at some point, eventually, yes. All right, so Leyline Binding or Bust. I'm thinking bust. They could have binding. It's not Jover yet. Steam vents. Well, that is certainly not a leyline binding. I'm gonna cast a Traxa. Uh, I would like an instant, a sorcery, and a creature. I would like to cast another Traxa. If you insist. I will choose a sorcery, a enchantment, and a land. I would like to cast Thoughtseize. What you got over there? Uh, I'll take your Fragment Reality. I'll cast another Omniscience. Let's get Approach of the Second Sun. Good game. This deck is not okay. Just absolutely not okay. Uh, creativity. I will choose to not sideboard. I don't ever want to sideboard. They've already they've already spoiled Solitude. I don't know if that also means we're going to get the rest of the elementals, but I think people are kind of hinting that that's the that's what's going to happen. Force of Vigor is in this set. It's in the the big big. What does that stand for, by the way? Big score. So they just called it big. Why didn't you call it like BSC or something? Or BSO. 
Why do you, why do you have to call it big? As a large individual, I take offense to that. All right. Guess we're thought teasing. Everything in Texas is larger, including the humans. I don't know if you guys, if anybody has ever met Spike in real life, but he is really tall, like exceptionally tall. Their hand's good. I don't know what to take here. I guess I take Oko and just keep them off pressure. Although it's a fairy to shut off my veils. Kind of annoying. How tall is he? I don't know how I don't know how tall he is, but he's gotta be at least like seven five. When angels desert to something like that. So we can go if I'm demonic tutor, you think they'll reprieve? I really want to get the hedge maze into play. I could have played Delta though. The issue is again that Reprieve does not get around or Veil does not get around Reprieve, which sucks. You can Veil before going off. Yeah, but that doesn't get around Reprieve. Keep. It's a good card. Yes. We can we can Veil before going off, but that also doesn't beat Leyline Binding. Non-token artifact creature or enchantment opponent controls. So <laughs> If I if they fragment reality my omniscience, I just get a free Atraxa. Is that how this works? A random creature with lesser mana value from their library onto the battlefield tapped. And Atraxa's my only creature. So Oh, they're not holding up white mana. Interesting. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna not go for it, right? I'm gonna cast Veil of Summer. They could have found a binding, I guess. Or like second land plus reprieve. Uh, no. I think I will choose to not pay. But I will cast the card show and tell. Alright, they don't want to play anymore. <laughs> it's like a screen. It's completely fair. Nothing broken at all going on here. Is Lavinia a legitimate card in Timeless? Um, people... So the Zoo decks do sometimes play Lavinia... But the other card that a lot of people sideboard for show and tell is Roiling Vortex. The issue with Roiling Vortex is, and I actually played a couple of games last night where I was at, uh, I think I was at like 17 life and I just went um, cast Atraxa for free, take five, cast Tutor for free, take five, cast show and tell for free, take another five. Now I'm at two, put in a green source, besage you their Vortex, and then just kill them anyways. So like, but, you know, Vortex is good, but it only gets you so far. Because if they just have the three spells that answer your Vortex and they don't die, then you still just lose the game that turn. At least Lavinia does counter all of the spells, so it stops them from doing that line. So it is a little bit better in that regard. Timeless Dates Wasteland? Ah, I, I don't think that that is the correct answer. If the answer, if the, if the only answer to Show and Tell is Print Wasteland, I'd rather them just ban Show and Tell. Like, Wasteland is an incredibly toxic card. Waste, Wasteland is the last thing that this format needs. It just needs format curation, you know? They, they just need a re the arena people to actually give a shit about Timeless. That's what it needs. And this is one thing that, when I started playing, when I, st when I first started playing Timeless, Ash was, like, t telling me about this. It's like, she, you know, I, ha I hadn't been accustomed to the arena formats as much and she was like you know be careful uh, a lot of the arena a lot of times they won't care about their like arena specific formats and they won't curate them as much as they need to and i almost feel like maybe that's where we're at with timeless now to be fair we are getting a whole bunch of new cards that i'm sure will impact the format right reanimate surgical extraction mind break trap archive trap mana drain force of vigor like the entire special guest lineup is just absurd for this set I actually should have been that to look for another show and tell. But if they just tap out and have binding, then we can kill them because we have the born. Yeah, right now, timeless maybe is not that great, but I think the I think the new set's gonna do a lot to change it. 
But to their view of curation being a new bonus sheet, right, exactly, yeah. You know, maybe they understand, and maybe they, they have already come to the conclusion that show and tell is a problem, but they just want to give us some time with the new set before they make any action. And I'm fine with that, you know? Like, I'm totally cool with that. Extraction is massive, yes. All right. No, no stub, no stub, no stub, no stub, no stub, no stub, no stub. Uh, well, they don't have stub, so I guess we kill them. What happened to my Atraxa, by the way? Oh, they Ragavan did. Right, okay. I see. Meet me on my run. I would like to respond. I have a response, please and thank you. <laughs> Nice Leyline Binding, by the way. The fact that you can do this against Binding is so messed up. Like, come on, dude. What? What? Like, what are we talking about here? Like, they had their card, and it didn't matter. You know? Nice Leyline Binding. Get out of here. Get absolutely shrecked. That was stupid. How is this magic? I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question, Emma. Your guess is as good as mine. Like, this is unironically the best card in the deck, because it just beats all of the cards that people put into playoff show and tell. What do I cut against Zoo? I think Thoughtseize on the draw is kind of sus, but I maybe I do, like, two Thoughtseize, one Assemble for three push. I do want some pushes. Can we read the flash card a moment? It's just two mana. You can cast spells as though they had flash draw card. That's it. That's the entire card. So, like, the reason it beats Binding is because... You, they put Binding into play, you respond to the trigger, cast this, you now can just kill them at instant speed. I think other people were trying the blue Leyland at some point, Leyland of Anticipation, to kind of mimic the same thing. But Born is much better because it replaces itself. It doesn't put you down a card. <laughs> I know, of all the cards that needed to cantrip, to be fair, that is just how magic cards are designed these days. Like, every single magic card says draw a card. Mm, keep this, put back Besaju. See defense show and tell. Maybe I put back Thoughtseize with the sand. But I kind of want to go turn two Thoughtseize Brainstorm. The issue with the blue ley line too is they can just go Tef bounce it. So if they're on the play and they have Tef bounce your ley line, then it sucks, right? It's a good one to put into play. I mean, what do you want from me? You know? I don't I don't know. I don't know what you want me to tell you. What does Dwayne say about that show and tell on top? Just don't dash Ragavan this turn, please. Just be a homie and don't dash Ragavan. That would not be ideal. Don't do it. No! No! Stupid monkey. You stupid monkey. Not you, chat. The Ragavan, of course. Okay, well, we can beat the Binding because we have Born, so I guess I take Vortex. 13, 8, 3. No, I'm not dead. So we take Vortex. I guess we Brainstorm now to not get Bowmastered? No, they're going to dash Ragavan. I don't know, whatever. We have to draw Show until anyways. Okay, well, we died. Uh, Yeah, game 3. Game three. Stupid Ragavan, man. On the play, we would have been fine. On the play, we just top the show and tell. They cast their Ragavan, we draw the show and tell, and then we're fine. Ragavan is uh, is one of those cards where it's like, it's it's not the most offensive card in the world, but in situations like that, it's super annoying. Um, hmm. Two Veils is kind of sus against the Zoo deck. I'm going to throw this one back. Uh, this is a little bit better. Put back dig through time, I think. This might be a, a turn one type turn one brainstorm type of hand. Believe it or not. Just so I can find third land. Play strand, shuffle the other thing away, cast a symbol, find show and tell. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go water grave pass and probably brainstorm on one. I mean, I don't know. Veil is interesting because they do have stubborn denial. <clears throat> But I agree. Maybe it's it might be worse than cutting. Like, cause I, I trimmed two assembles or no, I trimmed when I trimmed two thoughtsies, one assemble or something like that. Okay, so we put these two back. We draw the brainstorm. 
and then we go breeding pool assemble and try to hit the show and tell. Show and tell located. So here's the thing. If they put in Roiling Vortex, then I can just attract to them. Hmm. So they definitely have Vortex. I mean, we don't have to do anything, right? Let's speed answer twice in a row. So you have no chance you kill me through it. I know, I know. That's kind of why I'm playing it, you know? Well, the weird thing is putting in a Trax is worth... Well, I guess putting in a Trax is still good if they have Binding, right? Let's just put in a Trax, though. We know they don't have lands. Yeah, I'm just going to put in a Trax up. If they have Vortex, then we're fine. If they Binding this, then also fine. Because the Traxa can just find us more combo pieces. I guess they can plow the Atraxa. Sorcery, creature, instant, uh, land. It's pretty good. It's not bad. <laughs> Basically, best possible. That does not cast Leyline Binding. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, that does not cast Leyline Binding. They can activate the Vortex. Combat. We're just not activating Vortex? Uh, what? Okay. I mean, I'm just going to pass. I don't have to do anything. Why would they not activate Vortex? I guess they're holding up Reprieve. Is that what this is? It's got to be, right? They do know we have Show and Tell, so I guess that's why they're holding up Reprieve. I could have gone for a kill... Right, I could have besieged you the Vortex for one mana, played untapped land, show and tell omniscience, but like, do I need to go for it? I don't think I need to. They're not really doing anything. I'm just chilling. Was Ragavan before Nuka Penna? Uh, Ragavan was MH2. I don't remember when MH2 came out relative to Nuka Penna. That I don't know. Okay, now we're activating. They're just going to die to their own Vortex. Uh, Sure. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. See, that's exactly how the game should play out, you know. I kind of want to play the mirror match just to see how weird it is. Because when you play the show and tell mirror, neither nobody ever wants to play. Nobody ever wants to cast the card show and tell. I have Winota Bill. We we could play a couple different decks. We could try out some different decks. Um, we can DT on turn two for show and tell. This hand's probably good enough. Mirex, what the shit? What's going on over there? Ooh. Turn one preacher. Good thing Grokies is not here. Does the main deck veil make the Minota badge a piece here, though? Um, kind of, but like the thing is, if you shove on turn three. It's a little awkward, right? Where if you if you cast the if you cast show and tell on turn three, and you put in an omniscience, then you don't have the mana to cast the veil after that. Well, no, I guess you do, right? Because you have the omniscience. Never mind, I'm stupid. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, because you go show and tell omniscience, they put in treachery, you just fail in response. It's probably fine. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Like, veil of summer being good against ancient of treachery, but that does make sense. No, there's no Scion in this format. There are Zoo decks, but there's no Scion. The challenge is not till this weekend, so we're just doing preparation for it. We're not actually playing it today. I'm trying to think here if I want to go for it, or if I want to just try to brainstorm and find Omniscience. Playing Standard. Hey, hey, they have Dark Ritual in their deck. I feel like there's a good chance they just have a removal spell for this. But I also don't really want to go to 5. This is tough. I am pretty likely to find another show and tell off the Atraxa. Let's just go for it. Like, what are they going to do? Put another Preacher into play? I don't think I care that much about that. Show and tell. 
Hey, Atraxa is also a black card. Bane Ripper into play. <laughs> the one ring, but they don't get the trigger. Okay. Uh, show and tell. Omniscience. That's sorcery. Enchantment. Instant. I guess land? I put in the one ring, but I don't get the trigger. They could have a removal spell here. I have to discard two cards. One, two. See ya. I mean, this could get awkward if they find a Thoughtseize. They did show me. You know what's really hilarious to me about this deck is that uh, the kill condition of Approach the Second Sun actually wins the game through the ring protection, which is quite hysterical to me. That's a, that's a classic. All right, I'm not going to trade for Preacher. Dude, you get a lot of cards in your hand. So many cards. Kind of jealous. One mana. Surely they found a Thoughtseize, yeah. So now they take the other Show and Tell, but then I can just Mystic Sanctuary it back. Brainstorm, Show and Tell, Omniscience, Dig. So we still have the first Thoughtseize beat, no matter what they take. Unless they take Omniscience. We can't put that on top with Mystic Sanctuary. So hopefully they don't see that line. They know. They know, chat. They have the removal spell, too. It's a good turn. Dark Ritual. Okay. So we can't gain life this turn, which is pretty relevant. We could just find another Omniscience, though. So I guess we Brainstorm. That is unfortunately not another Omniscience. So... Interesting. Now what? This is really awkward. If I shuffle away the Brainstorm with Flooded Strain, I go to four, and then this is lethal, which means I have to trade here. So that's kind of bad. Is Chalice of the Void good against this? To an extent. Chalice for three is good. But yeah, it's like... If you, even if you shut off the one drops, they can still cast, like, show and tell and, and kill you. So it's a little sketchy. All right, I'm going to put this back. I'm going to surveil this into the graveyard and just pass. I might go to one. I also might just trade for a Preacher and then show and tell the other attracts into play. Is Preacher really on the power level of this format? So I was trying to build a deck very similar to our opponent's. And because, so the, the core of the deck, right, is Dark Ritual, Soren, Vein Ripper. Those three cards are extremely powerful together. You go turn one, Ritual, Soren, put in Vein Ripper. That's sick. The issue with the black decks is you have to find another vampire that is somewhat playable with Soren. And I think Preacher is the best one because you can cast it off of a track, or a Dark Ritual. Why not swing? They had protection that turn. A common Twitch chat mistake, but it's fine. They kept the old ring, that's why. I know it looked like they didn't keep the new ring, which, because they didn't, but they did have protection because they just cycled through another ring. Yeah, I think we have to trade here. It just buys me a lot of time, and we have another show and tell anyways. So I think the trade's okay. Should have sent a message, yeah. Maybe Arena's bugged. Yeah, we got a trade here. Although, actually, they're at 9. Maybe I shouldn't have traded. But going to 1 is sketchy against Bowmasters. Like, I know I have Veil, but they could have 2 Bowmasters. So I just don't think I want to go to 1 there. And then if we brick off Omniscience... Because my plan is end of turn Brainstorm again to try to find Omniscience. But if we brick off the Omniscience, then I'm just going to put the other attracts into play. They have a full hand, I'm dead. I mean, I definitely don't think I'm dead. If we find Omniscience, they're dead. Ideally, I would like to cycle the Veil before brainstorming, because it gets me one card deeper, since I know the top two cards in my library right now. Domain Zoo, Soren Ripper. I don't think you can get the mana to work with that setup. I guess your 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 Triome Shock Split could be like Black Shock Land, Blue Tri or Black Shock Land, non-black Triome, so that you could still go fetch for a Black Shock Ritual Soren. I don't know though. If I'm gonna do anything with like 
if I'm going to do anything else with Dark Ritual, it's probably going to involve Show and Tell, right? Like, I wonder if there is a version of this deck that's just Dark Ritual, Show and Tell, um, Dark Ritual, Show and Tell, Soren, Vein Ripper, Atraxa. I wonder if there's a way to do that. <clears throat> How many cards in the graveyard? Not a lot because they bogged me. Oh, there is five, actually. We still have enough. Okay, well, we win. Never mind. Everything is fine. They have one black up. I'm trying to think of what they could have here. I don't think there's anything they could have, right? Unless they have, like, Roiling Vortex or something weird in their deck. We should be alright, though. Discard some cards. All right. I would like to show. But I would like to show, but not tell. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to show you. Anybody else want to show? Not the Vein Ripper. Anything but the Vein Ripper. All right, they don't want to play. So hopefully more people sign up in the next couple of days, but this hand is nice. I'm not the Oracle. No, I, 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 as a matter of fact, I am not the Oracle. I am simply the Rock. W. Dwayne's in the chat. Ah, bog yourself, idiot. I have a bad feeling they're going to cast Ashiok next turn. Okay, well, they might have Ashiok, but they may not have a land. We don't need that. We need the other half. Mm. At what point do I just... I probably... Um, this turn, honestly, I think I might just cast a Veil so I can dig. Yeah, we can do a deck tech. I'm down, Snack Bar. Soren Imperious Bloodlord. Okay. Uh, not until the new set comes out, Da Vinci, which will be, you know, whenever it's available on Arena. It should be in a couple weeks. The Ripper of Veins. <laughs> no, Dex Dex's only two subs. All right, we dig here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me omniscience, please. Does Vein Ripper target, by the way? I think it does. Target opponent loses two life. We found the answer. We have located the answer. I guess I'll play around some stuff. Snack bar with the two gifted subs. Drop a link in the deck. Drop a link in the chat below, and I will be happy to take a look at that. It's as easy as that. Dodged in the chat. All right, they don't want to play anymore. Okay, I keep this. I'm going to hold up Veil on one. Surgical snap surgical. Dude, I think there's going to be like a legit mill deck in Timeless now. What would this deck play if there was no Atraxa? Uh, I don't know if this deck would be playable without Atraxa, to be honest with you. So let's shuffle away Sanctuary Atraxa. Doesn't matter. I'm going to fetch for a Surveil Land. I'm actually not going to go for Assemble here. Or I'm not going to go for Show and Tell. Because I want to wait till I get to turn four and then I can hold up Veil. Uh, that's kind of perfect, because that gets me a Surveil Land and lets me hold up Veil. 
And the next one will be just go show and tell Vale. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think I need that. Look at this guy, you know? How could you say no to that rock? Was this a mirror match? No, they have Hallowed Fountain. What's going on over there? Where do I find the deck list? Excellent question, Thought Now. You can always type exclamation point deck in the chat. You can always get the deck command. Always get the deck list utilizing that command, rather. Uh, I mean, I'm going for it. I got Bale. Let cook. Hmm. One of these things is not like the other. Opponent has brought a knife to a gunfight. Oh no, not my Atraxa. How will I ever survive? How will I defeat that? Alright, sorcery. Instant enchantment creature. Uh, land, I guess. I already played my land this turn. I say I have to discard now. That sucks. I don't want to discard. Three strand, three grave. Yeah, all right. What am I discarding? I don't want to discard anything. I like my cards. People always talk about knives to a gunfight, but never talk about guns to a knife fight. Well, that's illegal. You can't do that. Not allowed. If four cards in hand... They're going to Uro me next turn. I don't think I need the second Veil. Just need to find Show and Tell. Well, the Mystic Sanctuary is bad because we know they're just going to Death Rite me this turn. But I guess maybe it would be better for future turns to still get the Flooded Strand. But I had already played my land that turn, so. And we knew they were going to eat the, the thing with Death Rite Shaman. Oh, well, you know. I mean, oh, I can't thought seize them. Uh, I guess I should have kept the veil, huh? All right, I don't think it matters. Like, I don't really think there's much they can have here. We kind of have everything beat, right? Because they counter spell, we veil, and then if they put in binding, we have born. I cast a veil of summer. Omniscience. Oh no. Another Uro. <laughs> please. Anything but the Uro, please. Anything but the Uro. Can't win now? Yeah, I can't beat the Uro. Zero chance. <laughs> uh, one. Two. Oh, they don't want to play anymore. Where'd they go? Where did they go? Get back here. All right, they're playing four color stuff. Four color, uh, I don't know. I, I I put cards that I like in my deck, dude. Draw step Thoughtsies. I never thought of that, but Born Upon the Wind plus Thoughtsies is th this is basically just Splinter Twin, right? Three mana in your draw phase. I cast Thoughtsies. Yeah, this deck is. I th this is the best deck in Timeless. It's not close. I don't want any of these cards against four color stuff. I mean, I only really have bowmaster leyline push none of these seem that appealing i guess i can bring in grip but like who cares just don't think it matters so this is demonic for show and tell with double veil keep this unbanned luris and pioneer ban wild growth walker yes you are correct that is an insane person take at least you were upfront about it There's a couple of other decks drink, yes. I don't want to, I'm not going to play show and tell the entire stream. I know this is probably a little boring for a lot of you, but we got some other decks that we can play. <laughs> Too easy. I mean, now I don't even have to cast the Demonic Tutor, right? Just want lands. Do, do, do. No green wire, but I was thinking about playing that today. That was one of the decks that was on my uh, on the docket for the day. What can they have for one mana? Spell Pierce. 
I might just demonic tutor for a land. I think I'm gonna do that. Get a uh, breeding pool, probably. I kind of wish I had a third surveil land. There you go. Then we can go for it with Veil up next turn. Depending on what they do, I guess. They're probably just going to hold up their mana. Yeah, they can still hold up some amount of mana. Hope people are enjoying Timeless before blue-black control piles become tier 1. See, I don't know if I necessarily agree with that. So, okay. Now, I understand... And for anybody who watched Croaky's stream today, he went over the spoiler stuff. And he had discussed specifically Mana Drain in Timeless. And part of what he was saying was like, you know, Counterspell is not that not that great right now. And I sort of sympathize with that, right? And I, I don't necessarily know whether or not Mana Drain is going to make the blue-black control decks like the best decks in the format. Now, I'm not saying that Mana Drain's bad. But I don't know if it's enough to compete with the Omniscience decks. More so what I'm excited for is the cheaper stuff. So like Reanimate, Force of Vigor, Surgical Extraction, Mindbreak Trap. Those four cards are, I think, are phenomenal additions. Well, probably Ring, right? But here's the issue, right? The blue-black control decks really want to be... They really want to be... Um, uh, what you call it? They want to be Luris decks, right? But if you're a Luris deck, you can't play the one Ring. And that's a problem, you know? Born upon a win is so dumb. Sorcery, they won't play anymore. <laughs> Born upon a win, by the way. Best card in the deck. Yeah, that's true. Grief did ruin two formats. Unfortunately, for the vintage players, it has not made its way to vintage. But I'm sure it will at some point. I want to keep this so bad, but I know I shouldn't. This is better. Yeah, we know about Solitude, but they haven't confirmed if the rest of them will be in or not. What do I put back with this hand? Um, probably Brainstorm. Yeah, Brainstorm, go Watery Grave Thoughtsies, turn to Assemble. Assemble! They have a Giganta. What does that mean? It means Tarmogoyf, huh? <clears throat> Counterpoint. Cutting a grief in half whips ass. Cutting a grief in half. Oh, you mean... Okay, yeah. You mean the, the sawn half or whatever? Is that, like, actually a thing that people do? Or is that just a thing that you do? Sawn half initiative creature. Dude, I I had we had we were having this conversation the other day at FNM with uh, the new Grixis thing, the Grixis one that gives you extra upkeep steps. Imagine this for a second, okay? Hear me out. Turn three, White Plume Adventurer. Turn four, Grixis card that gives you extra upkeep steps. Extra upkeeps with initiative. Think about it. Just think about it. You know. I bet that that thought had not crossed your mind yet. But now that it's now that it's out there, you know, now you can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, also think about this. Turn 1, White Plume Adventure, your opponent just gets seeds anyways, so, you know. That's also probably fine. Well, it's also not legal, like I say they banned it. Streamer, why would you cast a draw three into a bowmaster? Sorcery creature. Wait, my opponents just seem to concede every time I cast this Atraxa card. I don't know what it is about it, but okay. So let's try this. Oh no, we don't need the Borns, right? I don't think we need the Borns against them. This is what we did the last time against discard spells. Let's try that. Keep, I guess. Basic Swamp Mystic Sanctuary is kind of cringe. <clears throat> it's a bug. I'm 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 one hundred percent convinced that this is a bug. I can I can assure you. My experts tell me that that's a bug. Do you know what happens when you saw and have the construct token? No, and I don't want to find out. As a matter of fact, I think that is something. 
that I will just never learn because you're not going to tell me. And I'm also not going to read your chat message if you do tell me. Could brainstorm now to play around Bowmaster, but it's probably better to brainstorm or hold up brainstorm in case they have thoughtsies. No, that's dumb. Never mind, I'm stupid. Uno. Dos. Because now I can just fetch, then brainstorm EOT and try to find omniscience. Show and tell Leyline. <laughs> it is a way to cast it. I don't think I need to get a shock land here, but I do want to cast this brainstorm. I just want to cycle it, try and kill them next turn. That was definitely a reason to get a shock land. Okay, well, that's awkward. Well, now I can't cast a symbol. Assemble. So this is three cards in graveyard. That's four, which means I do not have enough to cast Dig Through Time. Even if I go Brainstorm Fetchland, I go Lorien Fetchland. It's the same thing. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm not under a ton of pressure here, so we can just chill. Just hold on for a little bit. What if I show and tell the swamp into play? Four dogs is going a little too deep here. Just just a little too deep, I think. I know you want to cook, but you gotta you gotta throw that one back in the oven. That shit ain't ready yet. Alright, I wanna this is gonna look weird, but I'm gonna fetch first. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I figured it out. I'm holding full control. This is gonna be a fancy play. I'm gonna go fetch first surveil land. Trigger on the stack, cast Brainstorm. Fancy plays. Okay, not fancy enough. I'm at 14. Mm. So I guess we get rid of one of these fetch lands. Actually, maybe this was just worse. I could have surveilled and then got one card deeper with the Brainstorm. Yeah, this is probably just worse. I got fancy for no reason. It's all Dwayne's fault. I guess I can just shuffle with the Lorien. Ooh, that's what I should have done. I should have shuffled with the um, Surveil trigger on the stack. That would have been the line. Green. I have black. I guess we can get second green. Second black, though. Um. Well, I guess we'll check and see what they have. And then if they can't beat a track, so we can just put this into play. That is a good one to draw, though. That is, in fact, a good one to put into play. Drown in the law. Sure. Show me a spell pierce, I guess. <clears throat> they can't cast Drown with Forest. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, could they just, like, did they realize that they can't get Breeding Pool with Bloodstained Mire? Is that what happened there? Born Lorian Atraxa lands. No. I guess I keep this. It's not great, though. It does have Thoughtseize and Show and Tell payoff. I don't think I want to go to five. Jason Bourne. The Bourne Identity. I haven't watched those movies in a long time. Jund again. Huh? People love the Jund decks. They just can't get enough of their Tarmogoyfs. They have no fetch lands. Oh, but I played a Delta. Oops. Uh, given that I've drawn the Brainstorm, I think I take the Bowmasters. Bourne Emergent Ultimatum. I don't get it. What's the joke there? I'm processing. Processing. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Just don't blood move me, bro. That's fine. Well, I know what Emergent Ultimatum is, but what's the what's the synergy be between Born and Emergent Ultimatum? Oh, right. The Born Ultimatum. Yes. Okay. 
You could have gone with, like, Born Cruel to mate him, you know? Three whole betters. Uh, these two on top. Go to it like that, and then play this. I'm going to pay life in case they thought sees me, because we're not going to die this turn, and we have them dead next turn, so... Your points are too valuable to gamble. They're not, though. They're not even that valuable. Their joke was acceptable but not optimal. Yeah, I mean, magic players are all about optimization. That's all That's all we care about, you know? Pick up Gigantha. Dead. Dead. Can't beat it. See, now if I cast Show and Tell, they're going to put Jeff into play. How do we beat Jeff? You're saving up so my kid can go to college. The, to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think there is a channel point redemption for uh, college tuition. I don't think there is. I know that my mods like to do some weird shit, but I don't think they added that. I could be wrong. I think I can fix that. Give me a minute. Yeah. 20 billion channel points. I pay for your kid's college tuition. Oh, man. Is that is that a good number? 20 billion? How long do you think, on average, it would take somebody to get the 20 billion channel points? 40,000 bets. You probably average, like... And you, that, you have to win 40,000 in a row, right? No, it can't be that much. There's no way it can be that much. Because you're doubling up each time. Oh, no, because it's only two... You, right, you're not doubling your entire points. You're only gaining plus 250. Right, okay, I see. Yeah, I guess it depends on the odds, maybe. Death right, Shaman. The Shaman. What do we do here? Could play a Surveil Land. Could also hold up Veil of Summer slash Brainstorm. Pretty sure if they had Thoughtsies, they would have cast that first. But on the other hand, it is kind of nice to get a basic if they Blood Moon me, so I think I'm going to do it this way. Because if they Moon me, I have to get a basic island. Actually, that's not true. I should have played Delta, because if they Moon me, I can go basic Swamp, and then this gets basic island. So it would have been better to play the Delta first. And it looks like we are getting Mooned. So that's kind of a huge punt. They made blue mana? What? <clears throat> they misclick? Maybe it's Oko. No, oh, they definitely misclicked. <laughs> you, you know for a fact they misclicked. Activate Deathrite Shaman to pick up my Gigantha. A powerful, powerful turn two maneuver. Extremely. You know, I just... Turn two Jeff is kind of broken. Turn two Jeff is too good. This is, this is the exact reason we can't have companions. Alright, at some point I need to put some green mana into play. Blood Moon would shut off Veil, though, because we, we don't have a basic forest. How much do I care if they have Bowmasters? Not really. I could Veil if they Bow me. Okay, so now we put back these two fetch the green surveil land, I think. Trying to find an aggressive deck for Pioneer to maybe play some RCQs. If you're looking for an aggressive deck, my two recommendations would either be Boros Convoke, which we actually just uploaded a video on YouTube today. It was Explorer, but very similar to the uh, the Pioneer deck. Um, either Boros Convoke or um, Heroic. Those are both very good decks. Probably Convoke, though. But yeah, definitely go check out the video that I uploaded today with the Explorer metagame challenge. It, it is the exact same list that I would recommend in Pioneer. So I know it's the title says Explorer, but it's basically a Pioneer video. So go check that out. That was also the video where we drew a game on Arena for the first time in history. And I, di I didn't even know you could draw a game on Arena. 
Do you think the white black board wipe is gonna impact convoke? See, people were saying that, but like what deck in Pioneer can play a white black sweeper? Like what is what is the most popular white black deck? There just aren't any, right? In standard it's different. There's Esper and stuff like that, but there's there's just no white black decks in Pioneer. I guess Niv. Niv is the one deck that can maybe play it. Yeah, that's true. Maybe vampires you would just it, well, no, you can't you can't cut Fable from that deck though. You just can't do it. There's no way you can cut Fable. Oh, so they're holding up Drown here. Is that what's happening? I mean, the thing is, my Veil of Summer is offline, so we just kind of have to go for it. But I do think they have Drown. We could just find another show and tell. Fires? Mm, well, Fires wants to be a Karuga deck, right? So Fires probably can't play that. Grease Fang. Grease Fang become un became unplayable once they printed Amalia. Amalia just dumps Amalia dumpsters Grease Fang. But yeah, like Black White Vampires could be good. Maybe. Or maybe like Mardu Vampires? Perhaps Mardu Vampires? Oh, just draw the other show and tell, huh? Okay, sure. If you insist. Uh yeah, go ahead. Go off, King. I will put Omniscience into play. <laughs> Simply just draw the second show and tell. Look, you know exactly what this is. This is because I am subscribed to twitch.tv slash doomwake. This is why I draw the second show and tell. And you too can also draw the second show and tell. You know exactly how to do it. Masterminds Acquisition. How bad does Surgical hurt this deck? I mean, it definitely hurts it. But, like, here... The problem with Surgical is... Surgical's only good if they've already resolved the show-and-tell, right? But if they've already... Or, I guess, like, you have to counter the first show-and-tell and then Surgical it. Or you can Thoughtseize plus Surgical, which is good, too. It's not going to kill the deck, right? It's definitely not going to just make... It's not going to make Show and Tell unplayable, for sure. All right, so we have gone 7-0 and with Show and Tell, which means that we have 7 0 the metagame challenge, and we don't have to play it this weekend because we've already won. They can just give us our packs now. But yeah, if you're watching this and you are looking for a deck to play in the Timeless metagame challenge and you would like to win, I would strongly recommend this deck. It is the best deck in the format for a reason. And uh, what have we learned today? We have learned that this card, it's pretty good. It's not a bad one, folks. If you're watching us on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, YouTube. Adios.